Tan Sao or palm up hand is one of the most common and, and most practical movements in the Wing Chun system. Uh, when you learn the Sunum Tao form, uh, you'll actually see that there are three different types of Tan Sao in Wing Chun. The first one that you learn is, is in the very opening of the form, and this one is called the Cross Tan Sao, because uh, obviously in the form you're crossing both your hands. Now in application we don't use two hands like this, we only use one at a time. But in the form we train two hands together simply for saving time, that way we don't have to train once right, once left, we can just kind of kill two birds with one stone. The Cross Tan Sao is primarily for dealing with straight punches, okay? So if, uh, if I'm standing and, and somebody launches a straight punch at me, I'm gonna use the cross tan sao like this. This is the one from the beginning of the form. If you see here, this is right on my center line and I'm able to punch my opponent here. My fingers are pointing in the direction of uh, my attack and also in the direction of my opponent. I don't want to push my tan sao in this direction here because it could expose an elbow strike to me here. Rather, what I want to do is I want to close up the center line and punch right down the center like this. So that's one simple application of the uh, cross tan. Another one would be, for example, if somebody grapples my arm down and tries to give me a punch and I need to use it in conjunction with a low bong sound we call this Quan Sao but again the Tan Sao that I'm using here is again the cross Tan Sao from the beginning of the form so that is a simple Tan Sao from the opening the second one you learn is what we call the mid Tan Sao which is where we bring our elbow more to the center and our fingers are pointing straight ahead of our body this one at first we use primarily only in Chi Sao training uh, for example when the students start single arm Chi Sao this is kind of the platform for it uh, but then later when the students progress into double arm chi sao. This is the main tan sao that you're using here when you roll in double arm chi sao. In the advanced program in Wooden Dummy, we actually do apply this one uh, as a fighting technique, but for the junior students, it's primarily just for chi sao. The third tan sao we have is called the high tan sao or go tan sao. And this one we use against, for example, long uh, types of attacks. Like if, if somebody were to give me a big wide swing, I could use the tan sao here to defend because this is high enough to protect me from this one here while I punch my opponent at the same time. Okay, the reason I can point out with this one is because his elbow doesn't bend in this direction, that's why it works for that one there. So the high tan sao we use against big looping swings. Again, not to be confused with a hook, this is really mainly for a swing, and that's the basic application of the three tan saos. In Cantonese, tan means to spread or to open up. Uh, for example, to spread a tablecloth or to open your hand like this. So simply it means palm up hand or open hand.